near Mexico City sprawl the sun-baked ruins of Teotihuacan, largest and most mysterious city of ancient America. And there are hoax produced in the 1800s, and I'll give you specifics soon. Facing west, the largest pyramid of Teotihuacan was dedicated to the sun god. Only half the height of the largest Egyptian pyramid, the Pyramid of the Sun nevertheless covers the same immense area, almost 600,000 square feet. If the builders had contact with Egypt, no one can say. Recently, an ancient tunnel was discovered under the Sun Pyramid. It leads to a natural cavern where only a few pottery shards have been found. So then going into when these were produced, they were produced in the 1840s during the presidency, the, the, the hoax ceremony, the Masonic play of the administrator Polk. The Polk character would also then be a player in what's called the Mexican-American War, where then these armies of engineers and charlatans seeded Texas, New Mexico, California, Northern, and eastern Mexico and, and, and Mexico City with trinkets and Easter eggs to be found later. You notice then that if you go to Polk, he is standing in his master mason pose also giving you the clue to look for and that clue is in the ground. All right. Mirrored opposite you have a masonic poser and a masonic pose quickly going back just so that you understand this would be California at what is called Pyramid Lake just understand that that's just the idea of a cross-section of, of a hill and then you can see a geometric pattern and or you can be fooled into thinking something is there that is not simply by grading giving you various tones shadows shades and depth of field then allows you to fill in the blanks given just simple words. You know, this can be done several ways. Uh, early ways through hydraulics would be hydraulic uh, water going through knocking down um, loose gravel. Uh, it was done a lot in mining and other reasons. Th this would be a, a, a prime example of something that could be used to shape hills. And then the resulting effect of, of what you see at least through um, mining throughout some of the the US areas where, where you had silver and gold mining is you have the areas washed away and, and, and basically you can see the area that is is lacking any vegetation versus what is naturally still there and never has been touched you see that land unless it's been walked on nobody's touched that land alright so then you see that is nothing more than a bald mountain Return to Bald Mountain, man. This is which mountain? Which mountain are you talking about? The the one in the back or the one in the front? Oh, I'm talking about the one right there. Where they just went ahead and etched it into the shape of a pyramid. Actually, an oblong cube, as I've told you before, being this flat on top. There's no point. Alright? So not to get too excited about that. These are all made up nonsense. So what I'm going to do is show you through then down the what's called the Avenue of the Dead, of course, showing you that they all they have a moon. This would be the moon uh, temple. Also talking then about the Isis or the number two on the opposite side, reflected in uh, from the the uh, fallen sun pyramid. That's why they always tell you that the moon gets its light from the sun, reflected because they're lying to you. This is all a story, a pantomime. So then going into this area, please notice the foreground is untouched land. That's the way it's been from, from the beginning. After the, after, the, after the flood and everything came back up, that's how it was. All right. In the 1840s, they came through and they took some mountains and they shaped them into temples. And I'll go ahead and show you the best way to prove this to you is to go behind the scenes. And luckily enough, there's access and there's pictures from behind the movie set. This is nothing more than a stage set. You're to walk down this middle aisle into the boomerang, the eight. The boomerang comes back to you. 
So let's take a look. I, I, I told him I know uh, Pompo, so he let me through. No, no, no big deal. So that obviously carries weight. So let's uh, head on down the road and see what going behind the movie set brings to light. First, you can see that the area behind is, is untouched by any man other than wildlife walking. This is now back of the moon so-called temple and you can see that that's nothing more than a shaped hill nothing more than a shaped hill period I don't need to tell you any more than that it is what's called in um, the deserts and in drylands hills or plateaus anything like that can then be turned into a a, a shaped uh, hill or a pyramid or a, a mound or or anything else you want to claim as an ancient structure there is no ancient anything this culture did not exist is is what i'm saying to you there was no ancient culture here there was no ancient egyptian culture you can see that that is nothing more than the rock pit that was used during the construction of this in 1840s this is the back of a hill that wasn't used. This is behind one of the uh, fake smaller plateaus. This you can see is untouched. You can then see in, in fact, let's zoom in on that. Now here's where you're going to have to understand. Look at this. They just took a, a standard hill and shaped part of it as a temple and left the rest natural. And then that would give you the impression it was a buried treasure. Continuing down the road, you can see that this area was never touched. It was never a, 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 a an area of a civilization, an ancient civilization. As I've told you before, this entire thing is a hoax. That entire civilization is a hoax. It never existed. It's not real. All right. Much like the Egyptian culture that they present to you, the, the Rosetta Stone, the hieroglyphs, all that stuff that they're showing you is, in fact, a hoax. You have to understand that. You have been shown and, and sold a bill of goods, a fake idea of a people. And you've been given a fairy tale. All right? So people exist in certain places, just not the way that they tell you that they did. Because this is nonsense. You can see that these are just nothing more than repurposed hills to give the impression of ancient temple or a complex. That right there is an untouched hill. Okay, traveling farther into the back, you can see that that's an untouched hill on the property. All right, the same thing as always. Had they wanted to, they would just strip bald the part that they wanted to turn into a temple part. They would then shape that. They would leave the rest covered and give you the impression that it was buried and they were, un they were digging it out. You can now see that this is nothing more than a hoax. Okay, the best thing to do is then take you into, uh, into town, right? We're out here on the outskirts, kind of looking at the, the back back lot area, you know, where you get to, to, to see the back of the building and, and see that there's no there there. It's just a big goof. So uh, let's head inside, but lose the crowd. You know, just switch hats around, they'll never know who's who. All right, so let's head out to the other side, and I'm going to show you a few of these um, so-called... Uh, temples first off look at the uniformity of these this is military precision man this is plumb bob laid down line build it up one after the other make them look the same get them done these right here are, are built off and i'll show you a picture in a minute of them slightly offset this is nothing more than straight concrete and uh, stone um, built much like in the fashion of uh, forts and uh, buildings in the take for example Fort Point out there by San Francisco Bay underneath much like the troll underneath the bridge bringing back into remembrance the hoax Civil War era that whole lie that the Golden Gate being the temples falling down the temples coming down the, a, a change of mind 
the Tet Offensive. Then looking at this, look at these these columns. Look at these columns. Those are rebarge cement columns. Who's kidding who here? This is gibberish. Look at those. No wonder people are cranky. Look at those beds. Right? Look at this. This is nothing more than a cheap cement trick with bricks. Here again, this is too much. These cement pillars own it. Just look at those, please. Look, please, take a look. That's not ancient. Give me a break. Look, it's already falling down. Again, the beds. What are, what are those supposed to be? That looks like something that somebody, uh, Homer Simpson trying to build a, uh, a, a barbecue, if you've ever seen that episode. This right here, in fact, that's probably what it's a reference to now I think about it. Look at this thing. It's already f just crumbling down. Interestingly enough, I've left all the uh, location indications for you at the bottom so you can see that, that the numbers match up to, to, to the idea of destruction, this being a, a seven heavy one. <laughs> it's a hoax, man. Look at this ridiculousness. So anyways, again... Okay, all you Coliseum fans, I'm heading over there next. But that's just easy one to see. Anyways, here's a little free info on the height of the sun and the moonlight.